In this video, I'll show you how to protect a PDF file from copying, editing, or printing without the use of Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Welcome to this video. My name is David. So I have a PDF file with me here, and this is the PDF that we're going to focus on. This is the PDF file we created in a previous tutorial where I walked you through how to password protect a PDF file without using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So this is a PDF file that we are working with where we need to limit the permissions, that is avoid copying of the document, editing, or even printing the document. If I double click on it, it's going to open up uh, inside Edge. And once it opens up, you'll see all these uh, icons up here and functionalities that you can do. You can actually print. If I click on this, it's going to pop up the option to print. Uh, let's just cancel. If you highlight on anything here, you can actually just hover over this section, click on copy. If you go to any section, you can actually copy this particular information. Let's assume you don't want to do that. Alternatively, if you're using uh, an application like Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, you can actually edit this particular PDF file. So we are going to use, as we did in the previous tutorial, we are going to use LibreOffice and LibreOffice has uh, this one uh, application in its suite called LibreOffice Draw. And uh, basically this works for Mac, Windows and Linux. So you can actually set permissions for your PDF in any of these applications. So I've already downloaded and installed LibreOffice. So follow along, it's pretty simple. We are just going to open up Libre, Libre Draw. Just open it up here. And once we open it up, uh, we'll just go to file and navigate to the folder with the PDF we want to protect from copying, editing, or even printing. Just click on open. And then this is the folder, or this is the file that we want to protect uh, from all those options I've mentioned. Click on open. And since there is no permission set for this one, if I just double click on this, you can actually edit anything inside here because it's not protected from editing or there are no permissions set. Let's press on control Z till we go back. There we go. That's the full version. And to protect our PDF from copying, editing and all that, all we need to do is come up to file, export as, export as PDF. And once we're in the PDF options, there's a general initial view, user settings, links, security. That is where we need to look at. There are different options here because here is where we actually set the file encryption and permission. You can set the password for opening the PDF or not, but let's assume you just wanted to set permissions for what people can do and cannot do to this particular PDF. Let's click on set permissions or click on set password so that we can open this. So to set the permission password, we can just set it so that we can activate these different options one two three that's one confirm one two three once we click on okay the printing the changes and the content options are going to be available so what do we want we do not want any printing to be done so ensure the radio button not permitted is the is the is the button that is checked uh if we don't want to do or have any changes made to this particular pdf then ensure the not permitted radio button is the one that is checked. If you click on enable copying of content, then people will be able to copy the content uh, if even if you've set the permissions, but we we'll leave this particular checkbox as it is without a tick. As for this option that has already a tick on, it enables text access for accessibility tools, especially if somebody is partially blind, uh, they can have accessibility tools that we read aloud the text that is being available or the PDF file so they can actually consume your content. And once you're satisfied with the permissions that you have set, all you need to do is just click on export. And then we can just rename this file with permissions. Click save. It's going to save. If we navigate to our folder again, you'll see this particular PDF. If I double click on it, it's going to open up and this is the original one. There is no banner here showing us anything. This is the one that we've just added permissions to. And you can see this file has limited permissions. You may not have access to some of the features. Now, as you'll notice, 
Some of the features are inactive. The add text, draw, highlight, erase, the printing option are all disabled. Why? Because we have set permissions for this. And if we click on view permissions, you'll notice that file permissions, the ones that have this no sign or whatever, commenting is off, content copying is off, content copying for accessibility is available. And this is more so for read aloud option here, editing file content, filling forms, printing, signing, all these are disabled other than the option for content copying for accessibility. And this is more or less for the read aloud option. So that is how you can protect or restrict copying, editing, or even printing of your PDF file without using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC using LibreOffice Draw. I hope this video is going to be of value to you if you're interested in an easy and free solution to protect your PDF files from all these different options. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching this video.